I'm at Costco right now. Um, it's that time to re-up on all my proteins and things like that. So I decided I wanted to take you guys along with me this time. I love watching videos like this where you kind of like get a chance to look inside of Costco. Um, so I'm going to show you all the food items that I typically get. Um, let me know if you guys want to see more in-depth of like furniture and things like that because Costco sells more than just food. And if you're interested in just the haul, I'll be having that at the end of the video. I'll probably put a timestamp here and uh, in the description box to so check that out. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and go in and it is a busy Sunday right now. So there's probably gonna be a lot of people there, but I do want to kind of show you guys around. So if you are near Costco or you've been thinking about getting a Costco membership, this will kind of let you know what they have here so that way you can decide if it's right for you. So right when you come in they have some liquid IVs and they're actually on sale six dollars off so they're twenty three dollars and of course the coffee gotta have the coffee I usually get fresh flowers here. Come try a sample of our multi-grain. Thank you. Uh-huh. Ship today. They have these harvest snaps. I was talking about these in a couple of videos ago. I love these, but I like the tomato basil ones. They don't have that one here, but they do have these ones. There's so many cute babies here. Oh my gosh, baby fever. This is the best barbecue sauce and it's only $6.49 for two of them. Such a good deal. I have so much, I like stocked up on these. So I have a lot of this, but when I run out, I'm coming here. This barbecue sauce is so good. It's like a Japanese barbecue sauce, kind of like a teriyaki sauce. And this big old container is $9.59. I bought this actually the last time I was at Costco. If you cook chili a lot, this is a really good deal. Organic black beans for $8.79 for an eight pack. So it's less than a dollar a can, really good. They also have canned corn for $11.69 for a 12 pack canned green beans so I like usually getting my uh, vegetables frozen just because I feel like they're a little fresher but can is always the way to go sometimes Ooh, they have bone broth so if you're cooking soups it's 1949 that's a little high for me but I mean I heard burn bone broth has so much benefit so if it's worth it to you it's like 20 bucks here they also have regular chicken stock here for $11 and it's organic. I just buy the uh, chicken yore, the bouillon cubes, the little powder, if I need soup. They also have it in a smaller container and a 12 pack for $8.69. these chocolate covered almonds they're the best ones out so good they're addictive though so I could eat a whole one of these and that's probably not the best for my weight loss journey so I'm gonna go ahead and skip out on these right now these nut bars are really good here's the macros on them if you're in a rush for breakfast I'd highly recommend these I heard these heavenly hunks are really good. I've never had them before though, but they're supposed to taste like an oatmeal cookie. And I love oatmeal cookies. So if you've had these, let me know if they're good. No, I don't need that one. I need. They have so many ramen. So much ramen here. They have the Rayos sauce this is my favorite sauce i have so much of this i got it when it was like two dollars off though so definitely wait until it's on sale and stock up this is my favorite pasta oh my gosh they have a sale right now i have so much pasta right now though so i'm not gonna get this but they have different shapes i have these like two packs of these and then i also have the spaghetti 
but it's on sale right now, $8.49, and that's pretty good. Here's another sample. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. This is a Gogurt, I think. Mmm. Really good. Sweet, though. Really sweet. Here's all the spices they have. I usually get my salt and pepper here. They have garlic powder. Garlic pepper, ooh. Chopped onions. Regular black pepper. Pink salt. They have Lowry's. Montreal steak seasoning. Garlic salt. Ooh, I heard Kinder is really good. Here's a salt, pepper, and garlic blend. A buttery steakhouse blend. And a lemon pepper blend. If you're lazy but want rice really fast, they have this 12 bowls of the sticky white rice for $11. So that's actually a pretty good deal. I feel like each bowl you probably could get like two servings out of. Yeah, one bowl is 310. I'm looking for a tonkatsu ramen, but they have a tan tan men ramen with chili oil for $11.49 for a six count. That's pretty good, I think. This is my favorite Japanese dressing. It's the deep roasted sesame dressing. $7.49 for this big amount. I usually just go to the Asian market though to get a smaller one because there's no way I would be able to finish this before the due date. If you like pasta and chili stock up here $7.99 for an eight can organic diced tomatoes organic tomato sauce $11 for a pack of 12 pretty good price if you love hint water they have a really good deal here 15 count for $13.79 and all the flavors that they have here are really good they have watermelon blackberry and pineapple I used to drink this all the time when I couldn't drink enough water they have the sparkling ice water. I know this is really popular, especially for people that are trying to kick soda. Um, they have a coupon right now, $4.30 off. So it's originally $16, now it's $11.69. They also have a caffeine version of it too. This is my favorite soda, Waterloo. They have the strawberry, lemon lime, and the black cherry. It's on sale for $8.99. So that's basically the same price for like a 12 pack but you get 24 here, so that's a really good deal. And I heard Izzy's are really good. These are $17.49 for a 24 pack. So, I don't know, check it out if you want. They got the Sparkling Waters. This is $10.99. Oh, that's the Kirkland brand. I don't know how much this one is. But for the LaCroix, $8.99 for a 24 pack i would say if you're into sodas and like sparkling waters definitely get it here at costco because this is about the same price as like bonds or winko prices but you get double the amount if you're really into cheese they have some really good deals this is 6.49 for a two pound block of cheese i don't go through cheese that much i'm trying to not eat as much cheese in every meal uh but yeah they have the shredded kind too for 15.79 if you're interested in nuts, they have a lot of variety. They have macadamia nuts, cashews, some gourmet almonds. Ooh, and they're actually a pretty good price. I get my walnut tier for my cookies. If you're into yogurt, they always have deals for the Dano's Oikos Triple Zero. I don't like the flavor of this, the aftertaste, but it is on sale, $4 off, so it's $9, pretty good. I love their pre-packaged stuff. I just tried these scalloped potatoes. They're $7.49, that's a really good price for a side. And it looks like it feeds a lot of people. They also have mashed potatoes. Sometimes I just don't wanna be bothered. A two pack for nine bucks. They also have pot roast, oh my gosh. I think it's by the pound though, $7.39 for a pound. So I would just go ahead and make this on my own. I love these little mini naan breads. I make pizzas out of this the best. They're $6.49. And I heard this is really good, chicken tiki masala. They also have 
chicken coconut curry with mango. They're both $15. I heard the Kevin brand is really good. They're kind of expensive though, $14.59. You have to get the chicken when you come here. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're fine. You like steaks. Fresh produce. This is about to be really cold. They have my favorite salads here. I've never tried this one, but I love Taylor Farm. Creamy Italian dressing. The Green Goddess. They're $7.49, $7.99. I'm looking for broccoli and carrots here. They have broccoli for $4.89. Broccoli for $4.89 for a three pound. That's actually a really good price. So I'm gonna pick this up. I like making broccoli cheddar soup. And here they have six pound carrots for $3.49. So I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with all these carrots, but I'm gonna pick some up. Ooh, they have grapes that look really good. Ooh, they feel nice and crunchy. Should I get some? I don't know if we'll be able to eat all these. They have a great selection of fruit. Um, but they usually come in bulk size and I don't think I could finish all of this before it goes bad. But they have avocados, pineapples, mangoes over there. I'm looking for kiwi. Ooh, they have some really good looking strawberries. Wow, they're 14 bucks though. I don't know. I think I'm going to go to Sprouts to get mine. Here's what I've been looking for. We have organic Fuji apples, $8.49. That's a pretty good price. They have some Asian pears, I think. Some apple pears. Some tomatoes for $4.99 for a two pound. I'm not a big tomato person. I like it on my sandwiches, but that's about it. But if you are into, into tomatoes, they have a really good price here. They also have on the vine tomatoes. They have red onions, some regular white onions. They have Care Care oranges for $6 for an eight pound. You cannot beat that price. I think I'm gonna get some. Organic gold kiwis for $9. I love getting my chicken thighs here because they're such a good price. I usually get the bone and skin on because it's cheaper and I just take the skin off. They have a really good price on the Evergood sausages. I used to love these hot link ones. They're $13.79 for I think a pack of three. And they have four in each pack. Sausages are just expensive in general, but. And if you guys saw my meal prep, I used this as one of my protein sources. It was really good with some steak sauce. It is a little pricey though, but I don't know how to cook steak yet. So this is a good if you are feeling like steak, but don't know how to cook it. I heard their pesto is really good. It's on sale. Well, not on sale, but it's $10. And they also have Parmesan cheese for $13.99. They have some really good salad options. This uh, Chinese chicken salad, $13 and it looks like it serves a good amount of people. And then they have chicken Caesar salad for $12.60. They also have soup here for a really good price, a two pack for $10.60. They have chicken tortilla, clam chowder, 
crab and corn, vegetable and barley, lobster bisque. I just tried this one, it was really good. And they usually have broccoli cheddar, but I don't see it right now. They have a lot of good frozen food. This is the wild caught salmon, three pounds for $37. They have Atlantic salmon, $31.99 for three pounds. Pacific cod, $20 for two pounds. Seafood medley, 2.5 pounds for $18. Mahi Mahi, $29.89 for a three pound. I got my cooked shrimp here. It's a really good price. It is $15.89 for a two pound. And it lasts a while. I just bought it the last time I was here and I still have some. I use it for poke bowls. They also have flavored fish, which is really good too if you don't feel like seasoning it yourself. This one's actually on sale. Tilapia, crusted, two pounds. Originally $15, $4 off though, so it's 11. They also have some really quick, easy breakfast items that you can just throw in the microwave. They have some spinach egg white frittatas for $14.79 for a 20 count. For a 12 count of the Jimmy Dean Delights, it is $15.39. And for the egg and chili, green chili eight pack, it's $12. If you want ice cream, they have a 40 count of the drumsticks vanilla ice cream and the chocolate dip for $18. That's actually a pretty good deal. Haagen-Dazs, $14 for a 15 count. If you are on a diet like myself, they have the Yasso Greek yogurt for $12 and that is a 15 count. They have the mint chocolate chip. I think that's the only flavor they have for the Yasso's. And then just the regular ice cream bars, the Kirkland brand is an 18 count for $11. They have a lot of options actually. The Kirkland 91 lean ground beef, five count of one pound, $22.99, so $23. I think I'm on my last one now, so I'm gonna go ahead and get one. If you're on keto, they have some salted caramel ice cream bars for $13. It's a count of 12. So if you want something sweet, but on a diet, they have something for you. They have really good vegetable blends too. They have stir fry vegetable blends, rice cauliflower, broccoli florets. This is some of my favorite chicken, the Just Bear, three pounds, $15.89. That's actually a really good price for them. They have these spicy breaded for $14.99. And then they have the chicken chunks, the four pound for $18. I, I still have the spicy strips and I have the original filet. If you are craving Chick-fil-A on a Sunday, get these. I still have some from the last time I was here, so I'm gonna skip them this time. Also, their chicken wings are a really good deal. I still have some from the last time I came though, but a 10 pound for $25, you cannot beat that. They also have flavored sweet teriyaki chicken fillets for $13.89 for a 3.5 pound. And if you are on keto or low carb, they have the real good, the bacon wrapped chicken, three cheese for $13.79. If you're really into smoothies and asahi bowls and things like that, um, they have a great deal on organic fruit. Four pound for strawberries, $11.29. $8.59 for organic blueberries, three pound. They have a triple berry blend for $14.99, a four pound. And if you like acai bowls, they have a 12, a six count for $12.89. That looks pretty good. And I actually might get these mangoes. I've been wanting to do like sherbet 
and uh, blend it up with like some lemon juice. I don't know. I'm on the fence of this. I might get it. I might not. We'll see at the end. They also have the Tyson heart chicken nuggets. I've seen them everywhere. A pound, one bag of 64 ounce for $11.79. They also have the Tyson buffalo chicken bites for $14.89 for a 3.5 pound. They have really good prices on chorizo. It's a three pound for $5.79. I think that's really good. You probably could freeze this to make it last a little longer. They also have papusas, birria and cheese. Ooh, that sounds so good. It is $14. And they have beef stroganoff. Mmm, $11.99. That's actually a pretty good deal if you want something quick to eat. They also have some really good pre-cut, pre-cooked food. Some chicken and red sauce tamales for $18.79. It's a 15 count. That's actually kind of pricey, but if you don't feel like cooking it yourself. They also have seasoned beef and sauce birria with consomme. It is $16.79. I actually want to make my own, so if you guys know a good recipe, let me know. They also have a really good price on uh, sliced meat if you have a larger family. I wouldn't be able to eat all this. I usually just get half a pound at Sprouts but they have uncured black forest ham. They have some seasoned roast beef, some turkey. They also have the Columbus brand, which is I think a higher quality brand. It has no nitrates added. They also have some good antipastos. So this has some black pepper coated dried salami, dried copa and prosciutto. They also have some good little bites, salami and provolone, a pack of eight for 12 bucks. So if you want a cute little snack, it is 310 calories though, so watch out on that. So I showed you guys maybe like one tenth of like 1% of what they have here. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys want me to come back here. It's just so busy here because it's on a Sunday. This is the only reason I came here and they have it. Yes. Oh my gosh, it's $28 though. Is, is that a good deal? I feel like that's a lot. So they have these Fairlife protein shakes. This is the only reason I came to Costco and it's ironically the last thing I'm getting before leaving. It's $28 for an 18 pack. So that averages about $1.50 per container i'm obsessed with chocolate milk so i want to see if this is good just to add more protein into my day I just put back the cart. Always put back your carts, people.
guess how much all these Costco groceries were. If I remember, I'll put all the prices of everything throughout the video. But yeah, this, this is all I got. I'm gonna go through it with all you guys. So we're back. I didn't get a lot of stuff, but it was a pretty penny. Let me know what you think the price of this all was in the comments down below. If I remember, I'll be sure to put the price of everything that I got throughout this video so you can see. But yeah, I did not, I mean, I guess it's not too, too bad because a lot of the stuff, some of the stuff wasn't food, but yeah, I spent a pretty penny. You always spend a pretty penny at Costco. All right, let me go ahead and show you what I got. There was a couple things that I got from Sprouts that they didn't have at Costco. Um, I got, this is my favorite salad from Taylor Farms, the Caesar salad one. It says it's three servings, but honestly, I make it two servings and I add chicken thighs to this. Um, but yeah, I got this from Sprouts and then I got these bunch of bananas. I'm thinking of doing like Nutella banana oatmeal this week. So I wanted to get some bananas. The rest is from Costco, so let's go ahead and go through it. I got carrots. I'm thinking of doing some broccoli cheddar soup, and then I also just want to have carrots for snacking, so I'm going to prep those. I got some organic gold kiwi. I heard that the gold one is real, really, really good, so I love regular kiwi, so I want to give this a try. I got some Finnish Jet Dry. Uh, we ran out, um, so I wanted to get this in bulk so we won't have to think about it for a while. I got broccoli florets. I already have some broccoli in the freezer, but I always like fresh broccoli when I'm cooking my broccoli cheddar soup. And it tastes better when you cook it in the oven. I, Of course, you can't go to Costco without a rotisserie chicken, five bucks. This is gonna last me all week for my salad so I won't have to cook chicken thighs, which is gonna be nice, a nice little break. I also got some lean ground beef. They had 88% um, lean ground beef there, but it actually cost more than this one. And I like that it's, it was already an individually sized one pounds. So I went ahead and got this. You can find it in the freezer section. Um, I got bone in skin on chicken thighs. I just usually take off this, the skin when I'm washing the chicken. Um, but it was $149 per pound, and I think the boneless, skinless is like $350. So definitely a better bang for your buck if you just go ahead and take off the skin yourself. And I find that having the bone in gives it more flavor. I got some Kara Kara oranges. I asked the guy that was there that was picking it up if Kara Kara was good. I think I've had it before. I've heard it's like sweet, like extra sweet, so I wanted to give these a try. I got the Kirkland Ultra Clean Plant-Based Laundry Detergent. We are running low on laundry detergent. This was, I think, $17, so pretty good price, and I think this is gonna last us a while. I love the garbage bags from Kirkland. It's so good, the best. They don't rip or anything. So I went ahead and got some of that. I got tuna. I love this tuna because it has, actually, oh my gosh, it doesn't, oh yeah, it has the, top where you can just take it off like just pop it open and i love i love that instead of using a can opener especially with tuna i always I already hate i already hate dealing with tuna as it is so another easy step and this one was actually cheaper than the costco brand so and this is the main reason i i actually went to costco the fair life uh nutrition has 30 grams of protein. I love Nestle chocolate milk, um, and I usually drink that instead of coffee because I'm a kid. Um, but I wanted to get this to try to have um, like in place of the chocolate milk, and you get 30 extra grams of protein. I'm trying to add more protein into my diet because I heard you're supposed to, so I am doing that. Um, and yeah, that's all that I got. It seems like it wasn't that much, but it was a pretty penny. The grand total was $158.91. Now, the most expensive thing was the Fairlife. I think those were like $28. So if you take that into account, all of this was under $120, which I think is pretty good. And the chicken is going to last me at least six weeks. This is going to last me a week. 
the ground beef should last me a little while. There's five different meals I can cook with this. And yeah, the kiwi hopefully will last me a week. We love oranges in here, so that's probably gonna last us a week as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want me to do another um, kind of shop with me at Costco, let me know in the comments down below and give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't been subscribed to me yet, go ahead and do that so you don't miss any videos from me. And I will see you guys in the next one.